Welcome back to Illinois Crossover. So let's talk about some NBA topics. Hey, the rookies have been named first first team, second team. So Mark, let's go into that. All right, let's go with the first uh, first team all rookie. We got Kyle Kuzma. Mm -hmm. We got Donovan Mitchell, Laurie Markkinen, Jason Tatum, and Ben Simmons. And then on the second um, all rookie team, we got Lonzo. We got Bogdan Bogdanovic, not the Boyan from uh, Indiana, the one at Sacramento. We yeah. played well, actually. John Collins, Atlanta Hawks, Josh Jackson, and we got Dennis Smith Jr. Mm -hmm. What do you guys like? This is like the. Did they pick this perfectly or the way it should have been? Or is there someone that should have been snub? Like that was snub. I mean, with having two MA all rookie teams, I think it's kind of it's kind of difficult to have like put out everyone in. I, I guess mm -hmm. the people that were snubbed, like OG uh, Fox, Dylan Brooks, and everyone else, you could probably add them in the third MA all third rookie team if mm -hmm. they had one. But I think they got it, they got it decently right. I know there's there's snubs, there's a lot of arguments. Mm -hmm. Like Dylan Brooks could have been a one at least a second NBA all rookie team, but mm -hmm. I think they got it right at least with um, you know Kuzma and Mitchell for sure, and mm -hmm. um, and. And Tatum, for mm -hmm. sure. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, and there's too. a lot of arguments too. Like um, this is was such a deep and talented uh, draft class that mm -hmm. it was everyone pretty much contributed in the like a majority of the top lottery picks contributed to their steal. And there was a lot of people arguing about the steals in the draft. And um, this doesn't even include Marco Fultz, who if he would have gotten more chance to play, I think he could have been very, he could have been very impressive too. Mm -hmm. I, I I agree with Jr. I like Kuzma, Mitchell, and Tatum. Tatum's surprising me, obviously. Yeah. And you you obviously knew from the start that Tatum was he a, was my was pick it, for the rookie of the year. If, <laughs> if if Gordon got if someone got injured, if they did, but then they did happen. Mm. Look, what he's, look what he's doing now. Tatum's been a, like a superstar within the NBA playoffs. Yeah, yeah, for sure in the series of that. Who would you say um, among the snub that you would replace in that second it's, second uh, all star? It's no. so tough to pick. It's because. I feel like the first rookie team, I think they all played well, deserved that spot because I think Laurie was really good this year. I was, I liked him when they picked him. Uh, it's just that he was playing for Chicago and nobody really watches the game anymore in Chicago since Derrick Rose and Butler left. And, and uh, Kuzma, much, very well deserved. Uh, Lonzo, I think, played well. People didn't realize that. He has pretty much just a really good numbers for a rookie, like a seven assists, seven rebounds. For a point guard and, mm -hmm. and, and on 12, 11 points a game, that's pretty impressive to have. I mean, um, the one the rookie, the one rookie of the year was uh, a few years ago was Tyreek Evans. He averaged 25 and 5. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, the points are not there, but the rebounds and assists and the defensive stats were there for Lonzo. And I think um, I think he deserved it. People don't uh, are sleeping on uh, Sacramento. Bojan Bogdan is actually a really good player, mm -hmm. nice player, uh, really good pick that they have. Uh, John Collins, too, and Josh Jackson kind of blossomed at the end of the season. Dennis Smith, he was hype. He, everyone thought he was <laughs> going to be the rookie of the year. Uh, he kind of hit the rough edge, but like he had plenty of opportunities in Dallas, so yeah. I can understand. Um, OG's just like, I, I thought he was a really good rookie. I was still the draft, too. Um, I thought he would have uh, at least, I think he's going to be in a lot of, of defensive team. He may not be like offensively skilled yet, but I think he's going to be future all defensive team just because he was so good and a lot of players played so well too like Jordan Bell I mean mm -hmm. who would have known he was going to be like everybody thought that oh my god like Milwaukee just gave uh, Golden State this free pass for a player of like you know a caliber of right. his size yeah. his mobility and his athleticism the ability to switch on players like he's very useful in the playoffs right now for them mm -hmm. and they're honing they're basically training him and molding him to play like a uh, like a Draymond Green which is scary because he has uh, the ability, like the athleticism, the size, and and the mobility that you rarely find in big guys, uh, big men nowadays. Mm -hmm. Who's so. who's that rookie that oh, that got signed to Golden State Warriors at the near the end of the season? And Queen yeah. Cook, Queen Cook, Queen Cook. Yeah, the Duke, he, if, man, right? Say if if he if he played the whole season, I think he would have been at least nice. a second All Rookie team because yeah. like he 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 benefited or well, helped a lot for the Golden State Warriors near the mm -hmm. end of the season, getting picked up and you know finishing off with all the all the injuries that the Warriors had in the last two seasons. But he just he, he stood out in my mind, just like mm -hmm. you know being one of those. He's guys. great for them, yeah. man. Like he he filled up nicely for staff. Yep. And he filled up nicely for Patrick McCall, who was really good coming in. Mm -hmm. if, if it wasn't for that scary injury that he suffered. I think it would have been very useful for them during this playoffs. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's move on to the next NBA All Defense. Uh, list the names for us. Mm -hmm. So we got first team All Defense, 
uh, as uh, what's his name? Tony Allen would say, first team all defense, we got Anthony Davis, Robert Covington, Drew Holiday, and Victor Oladipo. Anything on that? Oh, we're missing one actually. Davis, Drew Holiday, Covington, Oladipo. Who was the fourth one? That's the I mean, fifth one. one the two, fifth four, one. Five. I Davis, think da- I Davis. Think da- 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 Davis was really good this Honestly, year. Yeah. yeah. Davis as the most defensive player. I mean, he he's one of the key guys protecting the paint, especially with Boogie Cousins out. Um, he, he's he's a phenomenal player offensively and defensively. Mm-hmm. He's a long, lengthy guy. Every man that goes for a layup, gets us got to swat out the basketball. Yeah. Off the mm-hmm. I mean, mm-hmm. and then Drew Holiday. Drew Holiday as a point guard. I mean, adding underrated towards, defensively. Mm-hmm. Everybody adding didn't know how good he was. the Pelicans team. Uh, yeah, he's very underrated. Until he shut down on. They yeah. showed him how good he was shutting down Damian Lillard. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, underrated player, a point guard, and man, he he locked down players, especially yeah. yes, that that Lillard Lillard in Portland series mm-hmm. that showed him what he is as an all defensive player. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, and uh, Oladipo, yeah. I love Oladipo there mm-hmm. because not only so he, not only he led like Indiana's you know attack, but yeah. just seeing that he plays both ends of the court. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And even just that postseason, you know, attitude where he's like, are you going to take a break for a while? He's like, no, nah, I'm not going Ready, to. Yeah. So just seeing his name on all defensive is like, it's dangerous. It goes to show how, kind of, yeah. how, how good he could have really been for Oklahoma City mm-hmm. if they used him, uh, utilized him properly. And mm-hmm. the fifth one is actually Rudy Gobert. So mm-hmm. everybody knows Big boy. he's the reason why he's... Utah's in the playoffs. And that's the reason why they played so well. Yeah, in the postseason, is his defense is just impressive. Yeah, mm-hmm. Rudy Gobert, same thing like Anthony Davis. He's just lengthy, long, and just all always blocks the shots or like gets a lot of defensive rebounds. Mm-hmm. Makes makes like you know changing changing layups for all defensive players that are go, coming in the paint. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I agree. And we also got the second defensive all all defensive team. We got Butler, Joel Embiid, Green, Horford, and Dejounte Murray mm-hmm. of the Spurs. So that's huh. um. Some out of the blue kind of, uh, yeah. but I, I. Where's OG? He, <laughs> he's gonna come there soon, man. A couple soon, more, soon, man. a couple One more day. years. Yeah. I, he's gonna be like, I could see him, like, Kawhi Leonard light. I could see that in him because he can already shoot. Mm-hmm. It's not consistent, but he could, uh, he could. A couple more years, and he's gonna get used to the NBA. And he lock, he lock it down players too. Exactly. Yeah, I, he's he's Kawhi Leonard light. He's quiet. He just goes around, does his thing. Yeah. And if he got them more minutes throughout mm-hmm. the season, I think he might have been on there. Mm-hmm. But I know it's just a late spurt, you know, trying to guard LeBron James LeBron, in game yeah. three, uh, just shows how potential he has for, uh, defensively wise mm-hmm. and be that quiet like player. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The only person I think that, that kind of made a point in terms of defense uh, was Paul George, which is he was snub. Mm-hmm. I think he was one of the biggest snub in terms of defense because he was um, it was a race for him and all the points in terms of. Uh, who would uh, lead the league in steals, and so it was between him and uh, him and Oladipo, and Oladipo ended up winning it. 